All right, folks, I wanted to go through the process to show you how to make your own a mouthpiece sanitizer. Um, uh, this year, obviously, we're going to be at a higher level of uh, cleanliness, as we should say. Um, so I wanted to go through the process here. Um, so what you basically need is one of these little bottles. Um, and I got this at Winn-Dixie for like a buck 25 or something like that. You need some rubbing alcohol and rubbing alcohol is hard to find now. So uh, hopefully you might have some laying around the house um, that, you know, back in a closet or something. You need a little mouthwash, some Listerine, okay? So what you'd basically do, and I already had started this, you take, take about a third, a third of the bottle of water and then take the mouth pee or the mouth uh, wash and you fill that up maybe another till till it's about halfway or right about there so now you basically have half the bottle of mouthwash and water and then you fill the rest of it away with rubbing alcohol now it's best if the rubbing alcohol is I've seen, you know, 50% rubbing alcohol or 50% alcohol. The obviously the higher the content of alcohol in it, the more powerful it's going to be. So then you have you have your mouthpiece sanitizer. So now you're a saxophone player, you're a clarinet player, you get done playing, you take your reed off, you spray the reed a couple times. Wipe it off if you had a tissue. I mean, it's mostly alcohol, so it's going to dry quickly. And spray the mouthpiece, wipe it off, and then you can put it back in your case, and hopefully it will be uh, sanitized. Um, you might even want to do it before you play every day, just to, to, to double, you know, be double sure. The same thing. Um, I'm also going to ask people to have uh, a kit this year. Same thing for trumpet mouthpieces. You sit there and spray it. And you only need to spray this part here and then put it through. That'll keep everything nice and clean and sanitized. Uh, for flutes, you can do the same thing. You want to have a tissue because it's a little more, um, like it can, it can run a little more all over, all over the place and then just wipe it off, or what you could do is get these alcohol prep pads if you want to use them, and then just wipe, you just wipe the lip plate, don't, you don't want to have, want, want to wipe any more than that. Um, this is a trombone mouthpiece, same concept, I'll wipe it out, clean it out, same concept. So, I'm going to ask that every student get a bottle so that they can just put this in their case and they can have it right there. So when they get either before or after class, um, you can spray your, your mouthpiece to keep it clean. So hopefully this year, with um, the extra time that we're gonna have at the end of class, that you can really keep your instruments clean. Um, a lot of times what'll happen is we get in a hurry, we don't uh, wipe um, our mouthpiece down, we don't uh, clean it out, and this will literally turn different colors with all kinds of uh, things. All right, so I hope that gives you an idea of what I'm expecting as far as the mouthpiece sanitizer. Um, easy way to uh, make it one more time. Fill about a third of the way with water. Fill another halfway with mouthwash. So you get about half the bottle with mouthwash and water and the rest of the way with rubbing alcohol. And that will give you a very, very good and effective mouthpiece sanitizer.